So after defeating my Nazi high school principal, I graduated high school and headed west. Took a Greyhound bus with nothing but a backpack and a guitar out to California, where I would join my next crew. That's me. In Los Angeles. HDP. The gutter punk years. I actually helped put this movie together, but I'll get to that later. Yes, we are punk rockers with headshots. I set that up too. I will explain that later as well. So Squid, the one that dies at the end of the Decline of Western Civilization Part 3 movie, he was actually my boyfriend for, for several months before he started dating the girl who ended up stabbing him to death. But I'll get to all that later as well. My adventures with HTP actually began when one of their members handed me this flyer while I was in Golden Gate Park in San Francisco before heading down to LA. It was a benefit show for a girl named Luana who had recently died um, after giving birth. So I think her baby was about four months old or so at this time. And that was Squid's uh, girlfriend and child. So that um, this benefit gig is how I kind of got acquainted with everybody. I actually met a few of them before, before this gig, but this is when I started to really get involved with the scene in California. I have very bad luck in love. My boyfriends usually die, so get used to that. Um, it's gonna be damn interesting when I get to the other side. <laughs> Be nice to see some old friends. Anyway, <laughs> my very first day that I got to LA, I immediately grabbed an LA Weekly to see what shows were happening and went to a butt trumpet show. Um, if you know Betty Blowtorch, they were butt trumpet before they were Betty Blowtorch. So that is where I met my first street mom, Bianca Halstead. Yep, no sexism in this scene. Us ladies die young too. Bianca was amazing. She wasn't like the mean hawks I experienced back in Boston. The girls in LA were kind of like that too at first. Bianca was cool. Reporting for Riot Girl duty, West Coast. <laughs> 